Stick that butt back. Come on, stick it back. There it is, there it is. Come on up. Okay, stick it back. And up. All right, we're good. Everybody go get a pair of tents, please. My name is Mike Suodonik. Uh, I'm a coach at CrossFit Instinct, Springfield, Illinois. I myself, I'm 72 years old, coaching for about five years. I focus on what we call our longevity program. Typically somebody 50, 55 years old and older, all the way up to we've had uh, a gentleman that's now 80, 89 years old. John Barber is 78. He, he's had a lot of challenges in life and uh, has never missed a workout with us. And right now he's on the atomic bomb. I mean, he's taken so much chemo that his doctor said everybody that's at the same level of administration as he is, is where? In bed, in bed, okay. Now, he's still driving and everything else, and he already rode 3,000 meters. Any comment, John? Uh, this prostate it ain't gonna beat us, okay? I'm gonna beat the prostate. There you go, there you go. He's an inspiration, everybody. He was turning around. Okay, so that's what they're wearing that for, okay? Because we're not gonna let him lose. They're seeing what's ahead, and they're smart enough to know that if they don't do something soon, their quality of life is gonna decrease significantly. And they don't want that. They don't wanna be dependent. They wanna be independent. And they're really not interested in more medication, they're interested in less medication. Take your time, square yourself up. Uh, get it up there, get it up there. Okay. Let go of the pole, come on. All right. Big air. Susie, big air. Let's go, come on. Big air. Push on that heel. Let's go. You're going to tire yourself out. Okay. All right. All right, that's all right, that's good, she tried. Like my, you know, default voice is saying, you can't, you can't do this, because I've never uh, done it. And I understand that if I struggle this time, next time I'll, I'll have a little more ease at it, but it's okay, I mean, I, it's okay if he pushes me a little bit, you know? Uh, I understand the process. Right. I mean, he's, if he doesn't push me a bit, he doesn't make me feel a bit uncomfortable. Right. And if there's not like a little bit of fear, then it doesn't mean, it means I'm not progressing. You know, I've proven to myself I can do something really difficult I didn't think I could accomplish. And I, that confidence uh, has translated itself to lots of other challenges in life. I think really I've only been able to accomplish it because Mike uh, is the coach. He is. The majority of them are pretty fearful and uh, insecure when they come. But they got a lot of guts walking in the door and saying, I want to change. Change is very difficult, very difficult for these people. And why it's so difficult, they got this past. And my job is to get them to let that past just die and learn to trust me to bring you into the unknown. Once you start grasping that and getting into the unknown, something you don't know something about, and you just make baby steps into that area, you start changing yourself. Not only in here physically, but psychologically, spiritually. Because the number one thing that's important to them in their life is their health. So, hey, I demand priority and get it. I would say half of them that come in can't get up out of a chair without using their hands. Once I could get them through some basic things, then they can move. Uh, they're happy. We do the Olympic lifting and do the power lifting. We do as much of the gymnastics as we possibly can. It's really unknown what the real opportunity is. We've got millions of people that don't know what to do or how to do that would be willing under the right environment and atmosphere to dramatically change themselves and not be a burden to our society and not be a burden to their family. And the thing we are overlooking all the time is the brain. The brain and the body go together. 
and what these people need to learn to do is let the brain run the body and not let the body run the brain. And if they can do that, their outlook on their future would be huge. And not only that, these people that succeed through this find another thing in life. And with all the experience and everything they have going for them, can reproduce themselves in another area rather than sitting in a rocket chair.